Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash aka I'm a Ghostbuster and today I'm doing a quick review for Hourglass on Xbox. Now Hourglass is a sort of puzzle game, a first person puzzle game um, where you play as a Awa who is like a young adventurer and she's gone to Egypt to sort of find her missing father who was an archaeologist and he basically never returned from his like last expedition basically. Now it's published and developed by Secret Item Games and it was released onto the store on the 30th of the 6th 2022 and I was lucky enough to be given a copy of this for this video review so big thank you to them for that. And this is a very unique game in the sense that its sort of core gameplay mechanic is this sort of copying ability. So as you progress through uh, early on in the story, um, you basically come to each room and each room is like a puzzle basically and you have to open the doors etc to proceed um, or basically you've just got to move your way along. Now... The mechanic in this game is very unique. You basically have to copy yourself and um, use your copy to um, play out what you want to happen. And then you run through this door. You basically um, you do what you want it to do. And then it will automatically play once it ends. So you'll go through this portal door. You'll sort of maybe move a block or press a button or pick something up and place it somewhere and then you'll click sort of like end or the time will run out and then it will then replay that in front of you with like a sort of ghost like character to do and they will like carry out what you've just done. So there's a lot of the puzzles are sort of getting your character to... Um, move things for you or place a block on one place to set up a, a lever while you're stood somewhere else to set something else off that kind of thing a um, lot of um, start, start and stop sort of um, repetitive sort of nature to the puzzles in that aspect now the game itself is a very pretty game I must admit it is um, really nice to look at it's got a very sort of simple but pretty art style and the sort of sound design to it is pretty good there as well. There's not a lot in the terms of sort of cutscenes and dialogue. There are some bits where it happens, but the majority of the gameplay is this puzzle-based gameplay. Now, the environments are really nice. Um, you get sort of the, the classic sort of Egypt-esque areas. There's like pyramids, there's tombs, there's statues. Um, it, very, very pretty. Um, so I highly recommend uh, it if you want like a, a really pretty looking game. Now puzzle wise they start off pretty simple but they do get a bit more um, difficult as you progress. So they do get a bit mind boggling, a bit more challenging and stuff like that. But like I say as you work through it you'll just chip at it as you go. Now the game itself... Um, is not the longest of games you'll get through it in a handful of hours um depending on how quickly you get through some of the puzzles but like i say the puzzles were very unique and how you sort of progress with them with that sort of copy mechanic i found really really interesting um and basically having the time limited sort of clone running around um you have to really think on like the best path and the best strategy and making sure you're in the right place and stuff like that and it allows you to sort of access areas you couldn't be in all the time with your clone while you're on like the other side of a door or something like that as well but overall i found the game to be uh, a, a very sort of atmospheric first person uh, puzzle adventure um i've seen some people sort of describe it like it was inspired by like portal and i can see that in some ways uh in the way it plays but it, it is more of like a, a slower paced um style whereas portal i felt was a lot more fast paced in the puzzles this was more of like a sort of slower sort of plodding pace is the probably not the best way to describe it but that that's how it sort of played out now there is some voice acting in the game it's it's fine, but like I say, there isn't a lot of it. And like I say, when you're doing the puzzles, you're just doing the puzzles. There's 
like when you've played like walking sims and you know like they talk and stuff as you're progressing and even if you're not doing anything there's a bit of dialogue there isn't that in this unfortunately it's only at certain points to sort of progress the story um but overall like i say you're going to get a good handful of hours out of it it is pretty um challenging at parts um but like i say overall it is um a very fun little puzzle game now it's playable on xbox one and xbox series x and s it's optimized for Xbox Series X and S with 4K resolution, and it also supports smart delivery as well. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out if you like sort of your puzzle games similar to Portal and um, things like the Talos Principle, those sort of games. This will be one that will um, really sort of appeal to you. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe. And we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.